get started. Uh, Nyland Green is obviously a big-time prospect. We're lined up for a lot of big-time prospects uh, here over the next couple of weeks, so get used to this. Make sure you tell your friends if you care about recruiting. This is obviously what you need to be listening to because uh, it's coming straight from the kids. So, again, uh, uh, appreciate you guys. And, hey, Faison, roll that beautiful intro. You are listening to The J-Boy Show. Your number one source for Auburn and the SEC. My goal was to run through his soul and grab his heart when I when I run through his soul. Through his soul. Kurt, Nate, Coach Dad. Those are memories. memories. I think we've established ourselves as, I think, the premier conference in college football. College football. Now, the SEC is, is, is better at the top. It's better in the middle. It's- the Southeastern Conference remains the premier conference. Yeah. and everybody else trying to catch it. I think this is probably the best league from a competitive venue standpoint. They have the most capable teams. You just look at those programs, the way they recruit, how they invest. Snap to Burrow. Three steps. Fires. Back corner of the end zone. Over the shoulder. Catch. Did he hold on? He did. Justin Jefferson. Touchdown, Tiger. Now, your host, J-Boy. Hey, everybody, and welcome to a very special edition of the J-Boy Show. We are joined with a guy that I believe is the number one corner in the class. You just turned on the film. Uh, he's a four-star, uh, soon to be five-star, even though I know he probably, it probably really don't matter that much to him. He just wants to play. And that's uh, that's Newton at corner, Nylon Green. Nylon, man, what is up, dude? Oh, no, man. I'm just chilling. Yeah, it uh, seems to be a lot of chilling, man. During this pandemic deal, you know, I've, I've uh, seen videos of you on Twitter, you know, working, getting your work in. And I know it's a different routine, but have you kind of gotten, you know, kind of used to it a little bit and, and been able to, to get better, e- even though the, the adversity kind of hit? Oh, yeah, I've been doing good. I've just been working out really with some of my teammates, getting the communication down right with the guys. So I'm kind of adapted to the situation as we're going on. Well, there you go. And hopefully we get it back soon and, and can get back rolling. Man, your your high school team is loaded. Uh, Newton High School. Um, can you just talk about Nylon being a guy that's a, that's obviously a team leader, but a, a guy that's as ho- high profile as you playing with a bunch of other high profile guys? How excited are you guys to just be able to go out there and, and do what y'all do? Man, it's just really something I can get out there and compete all the time. I really don't really care too much about the ring. I just love to compete and continue going with my guys. Yeah, and again, that's the that's the best part, man. I always tell everybody it's it's the bus rides and and after practices and all that stuff. That's what you're going to remember. But you know, I want to talk about your game a little bit, Nylon. And 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 I turn the film I'm on you, and you're a complete player to me. Obviously, everybody can get better. You still have room to grow. Uh, I, I love the way you're able to change direction and and how instinctual you are. Can you name one part of your game, Nylon? that you think is your strength and then give me one that is something you you're continuing to work on that you feel like you still need to develop oh yeah my favorite strength is pressing i'm always in your face with it. it's gonna get down and dirty and physical and i think my weak is i don't like too much playing off because i feel like that's not me yeah yeah <laughs> that's not competitive enough for me i like to get down and dirty with it so so you you would definitely prefer man coverage over zone coverage is what you're telling me Oh, yeah. Yeah. Again, I can tell again. And, and it's something now. Well, you guys at Newton, just from a and I know you can't give us the secret sauce to what you guys are doing. But uh, do you guys play more man? Is it more zone? Uh, do, do you feel um, do you feel like you guys mix it up a bunch or do you just kind of lock it in and say we're better than y'all? Oh, no, we miss it up sometimes. But most of the time, we down there with it. You're going to have to try to beat me, beat us, beat our guys. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And and it's something, too. I had Gerard Powers on here, a guy that played DB in the league. I'm sure you know who that is. And, and yeah. one thing that stood out to me about his game was his timing. And he was always able, whether it's high pointing the ball, whether it's uh, breaking on a slant, knocking the ball away, uh, you know, knocking the ball out of the receiver's hands after he's caught it for an incompletion or a fumble. That's something that, that I know you you instinctually and naturally do. Have you always just been good at that, or is it something you've really had to work on? Hey, I mean, I kind of already good. I didn't play baseball. So baseball really helped me with my ball skills, yeah. but I really just been all around good at out playing the ball and out playing and everything. Yeah, so baseball now. Wait, so you you played some baseball, huh? Oh yeah, center field. Center field. Oh, could you hit? Could you hit? Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Could you hit? I back clean up, baby. Ooh, that don't surprise me, Nylon. That don't surprise me with you, man. But uh, 
But it, kind of moving toward your your recruiting process, because again, I mean, you know, you're highly ranked. You know, you have offers from from everybody under the sun. I tell people, if Mars had a team, they'd have offered you. But it, when you're going through this process, now, what are some things that are that are really important to you that that you believe ultimately will help you make your decision? Man, find a place that fits me. Not only see me as an athlete, but I can do outside of football. Now, is is what are you interested in outside of football? What are some things that kind of interest you a little bit other than than the gridiron? Uh, I like graphic design. I like a whole bunch of this stuff. So I like, yeah, I love law. Like law, really? criminal justice, stuff like that. Yeah. Nice. So, so, so if Nylon Green's not playing corner, are are you a defense attorney or are you a prosecutor, Nylon? Which one are you? Defense attorney? Yeah, I like that. I like that. You you want to go in there as the underdog most of the time. I like that. I respect Oh, yeah, underdog. You're going to have to put up a good argue with me. Hey, I, I, I bet you could stay in there and argue for a minute, too. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, I'm not even going to ask you about LeBron or Jordan. We're not even going to go down that rabbit hole. But, uh, hey, if you do that, you're going to lose. Uh, hey, look, I, I, I just, that, that's, you know, that's a never ending story. But, um, but, man, back to the schools that are recruiting you. You know, you put out a graphic that had, all your offers from, you know, Minnesota to Auburn, to Alabama to everybody, LSU, Georgia, you know, is, is, is it coming time you think to cut the list? Or are you thinking about kind of trimming it down here soon? Oh yeah. I'm going to put out a top five video real soon. Really? Really? Now, now the teams that, again, if you follow your recruitment, I, I know you follow it. You hear, you know, Auburn, you hear Alabama, you hear Clemson, you hear Georgia is, is there a couple schools uh, that have kind of, you know, again, I'm not saying leading and, and not trying to put you in that position, but are there a couple schools that are kind of standing out to you right now? And, and if so, you know, what makes a difference for those schools? Oh yeah. Some schools kind of stand out right now with me. Can you, do, could you give me one, just one? Yeah, Auburn. That's Auburn, standout. okay, okay, definitely. And, and that's something that, again, you know, you look at Auburn and you look at the success they've had in the secondary. I mean, you look at Noe Egmanani, you know, getting taken really early. Guys like Carlton Davis, Jamel Dean, you know, Junior Rose Green, Carlos Rogers. Uh, Auburn's really a place that's known for defense. Is that something that, you know, as a DB, as a corner in a Kevin Steele defense where he'll say, look, Nyland, go get it. You know, that's got to be something that, that as a high school guy, as high profile as you are, that's attractive coming out. Oh, yeah. I love that. Telling me to go get it. I'm going to go out there and do my thing and ball. Yeah, exactly. And that's and again, at the end of the day, you know as well as I do, Nyland, you've been playing the game long enough. If you can play man and, and be successful at it and, and be able to do that, then you're going to be pretty successful on defense. And and I know you're a corner that loves to be on an island. Can you talk oh, yeah. to me, Nyland, just about the mindset of, uh, you know, it's me versus you. I'm on this island. I don't need any help. This dude better not throw the ball my way. Oh yeah, that's Nyland Island over there. Nyland <laughs> Island, that works too good, bro. You got to patent that. You got to patent that <laughs> oh, quick. Yeah. That that's too easy. That's way too easy. I like that. I can't believe I didn't think of that, man. Oh yeah, that's Nyland Island. That's pick six to the house, regardless. But you gotta just have that dog built inside you. That's how yeah. to confidence that you better than the person that's lined up in front of you, regardless. So you're never gonna beat me. Exactly, and and whenever you're playing DB, and that's that's what I tell people. I mean, at the end of the day, you're you're going backwards most of the time, so you have to have an edge and and playing against the competition that you play against, which is as good as you're going to see in high school. Can you kind of talk about how that's prepared you, Nylon, for the next level and being able to not only in games but in practice, you know, be able to guard guys that that you have to be paying attention and and just make you better. Oh, yeah, guarding some of the most tough guys like Javon Baker, Robert Lewis, Michael Matheson. Coming up in high school as a starting that young, guarding them guys really got me developed and got me better. Yeah, they used to beat me down. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's part of it. You know that's part of the, part of the process, man. Now you're on top. Yeah, my boy Robert Lewis, Michael Matheson used to beat me down, made me fall. Oh, they made me want to quit sometimes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those guys really helped me get to where I'm really at today. Exactly, and and if you see somebody that's that talented, it's it, it almost makes you feel better about the next guy. So okay. uh, back to recruiting, just just for another moment. You know, Clemson's another school that you know a lot of people have been talking about. Can you kind of talk about just you know what Clemson's been able to do over over the past you know really five years and 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 kind of the run that they've been on. Oh, they've just been on a great communications base. They've been just an amazing, good team, got all around staff. It's just a good, great team all around. Yeah, and, and it's something where, you know, Dabo Sweeney's got him rolling over there. And, and you look around the SEC now, and I, now I want to ask you this, and again, it's, it's something where I know you can only tell me what you can tell me, but, you know, being from Georgia, you know what I'm saying, you grow up watching the SEC. Uh, you hear SEC, SEC, SEC. And for most guys, it's a lifelong dream of, you know, playing in that conference. Is that something that Nyland Green, as a guy that, that when you get drafted and, and 
all that stuff after here that you want to be able to say, man, I played in the SEC. I mean, yeah, but I'm really not from Georgia, from Brandon, Mississippi. That's right. Like, that's right. I was wondering, I got that number. You know, I got that number and I was like, I seen it. I was like, man, I wonder if he's actually from Mississippi. Kind of tell people if you don't mind about that, if you can. Oh, yeah. I'm from Mississippi. I've been there. So, whew, I don't know how long I raised there. Then I moved to Georgia, like sixth grade, seventh grade, and been up here ever since. But the SEC is it's best. I, to me, I think it's the most hardest conference, best it conference. Is. I mean, yeah, it, it is. But again, you know, Clemson's dominating the ACC, and they've been fine when they've they've played SEC teams. And again, you 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 go somewhere where you're you're around with dominant talent. You know, it, it really doesn't matter. But, you know, Nolan, kind of as as we're, we're winding down here a little bit, when – fans and and you know opposing coaches when they think of nylon green what do you want them to think of overall off the field and on the field what is kind of your mission statement as a guy that that's a leader on the field and in the community and and a guy that has a lot of responsibility hey my smile i'm always happy i always got the upper hand got the positive energy all around but on the field oh, i'm a dog i'm a monster yeah, and, and again, that's something. And, you know, you almost uh, play in DB. Do you have kind of an alter ego? You know what I'm saying? Is, is there like a, a Bruce Wayne Batman situation going on <laughs> where Nylon off the field and Nylon on the field are two different people? Oh, yeah. If you see me out the field, I'm always smiling. But on the field, that's when the monster come out. I, I love it. I love it. So uh, uh, wrap it up here. Final question, Nylon. You know, you're, you're a guy that's been recruited for a while. Uh, you've been through the process. Is is this something now that the visits are going to start happening again that you're probably going to wait till after the season to make a decision? Or are you just going to do it whenever it feels right? That was me. I just did it when it felt right. Oh, yeah. Well, me, I'm probably doing it whenever it feels right to me. Definitely. Definitely, man. Well, Nylon, dude, you're a stand-up guy. You know, obviously, I can tell. You know why? Uh, why everybody likes you so much, dude. You, uh, you got a real gravitational pull personality, and and just a heck of a player. And and again, man, I know you're going to keep getting better because you're going to keep grinding, keep doing it, man. Get that free education, and, and life's yours, brother. Oh yeah, yes sir. All right. Well, we're gonna we're, we'll get you back on here, Nylon. You know what I'm saying? As we get closer, you said you're dropping that top five soon. Uh, again, man, keep in touch with us. It's it's been an honor to follow your recruitment, and it's going to be fun to watch you in college and and hopefully in the NFL. Oh, yeah, most of Thank you. All right, Nylon. Be good, brother. All right, you too. You were listening to future superstar Nylon Green, a guy that uh, the SEC is drooling over. I know Auburn is, uh, no George is, no LSU is, no Bama is. So uh, we really appreciate him joining the show. And like I said, we're going to be having a ton of guys come on like that. So you're going to get perspective straight from the horse's mouth. Now stay tuned. We have a special quick interview, eight to 10 minutes with the number one graphics guy in college football. In the game, really, that's Hayes Fawcett. You can follow him at Hayes Fawcett. So make sure if you got an extra 10 minutes to listen, uh, this guy's unreal. He's done uh, work for Leonard Fournette, uh, Chase Young, and he's one of the first people to know about where any of the recruits are going. So make sure you stay and listen to this guy. Uh, Hayes is, uh, is unreal, and he's got a really cool story. So thank you guys again so much, and make sure you stick around. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another special edition of the Jay Boy Show. Got a very interesting and and uh, a guest. I think you guys will will find very kind of revealing about how things work behind the scenes. And and whenever you go on Twitter, Facebook, and you see these awesome graphics, these guys release their top five. Uh, this is one of the main guys that does it, and that's uh, Mr. Hayes Fawcett. Hayes, man, I appreciate you taking some time today. Appreciate you for having me. Definitely, man. Well, kind of tell everybody kind of what you do, and then we'll kind of go into the story of, of how you started doing it and what it is now. Okay, so what I do is uh, I make uh, edits for like the top recruits in the country whenever they're releasing like a top schools or where they're going. And kind of the way it works, they'll hit me up like a week in, in advance, like prior to their uh, announcement, and I'll uh, make their – make the graphic kind of showing what team they're going to or their top schools pretty much. Yeah. So, so they just reach out to you randomly. Do you have you, I know you promote it on Twitter and on Instagram. I know you got a ton of followers on Instagram. Uh, so you just promote it. And, and what are some of the biggest recruits that you've done edits for? Uh, I've done like uh, Leonard Fournette. Uh, let's see. Rashawn Gary, pretty much like every top, 10 player, pretty much like every top player in their, since the class of 2015, 2016. 
that's yeah. that, that's that's crazy. So, do you keep up with these guys? I mean, or is it just a business transaction and then they're kind of on their way, or is it like half and half? Yeah, I mean, some guy like it's a lot of guys I've I've done for like I've done like Chase Young, all of them. So, I mean, I'll occasionally talk to them, but like I know now that they're like big in the big in college, and a lot of them are in the field now, so it's kind of hard to get in touch with them you know what I mean yeah do you have like a in in your house somewhere like a room where you have like Leonard Fournette's graphic you made for him going to LSU or do you have like just a just a space for like your kind of like hall of fame not really but that would be like really cool to do that's actually a really good idea like I I thought about like kind of starting to like print these pictures out and maybe like uh, mail them to the recruit and like give them to sign it and I, like you said have like a wall of fame that would be sweet yeah dude that, that, that's that's something you need to look into that would be uh that would be an extra special section of the man cave but all right so Hayes, kind of because your work's amazing man uh, i mean what you do the one you put out for small uh did you do the one for small london yeah i did i did the uh i put he put uh mine and another guy's on Instagram, but he put the other guys just on Twitter, so I'm not really sure which one. You're oh talking yeah, about. I, I'm talking about the one on Instagram, dude. It was it was sick. Yeah, it was sick. It's it's I something. That. Yeah, I mean it's it's art. You're you're legitimately an artist. So can you kind of tell people how you started doing this? Like the like the kind of the the backstory behind the, the rise of Hayes Fawcett. Okay, so like I started back in like sixth grade, maybe I had seen some really cool photos edited on Instagram. And I thought it'd be pretty cool for me to do as well. So for about the first year or two, I started off by doing, like, just pro athletes. And, I mean, I had, like, one or two pros, like, see my work. And it was, like, the best feeling whenever they would see it and, like, post it, you know. Mm-hmm. So then I just kind of started thinking, like, maybe there's a way for me to get my work out there more if it's not just pros. Like, so I thought, so I thought uh, college football recruiting would be cool to do because it's high schoolers. They're big. They're like going to be big one day. So why not start when they're in high school and it's going to be easy for them to see my work and talk back to me. So that's kind of how I started. That's, uh, that's crazy. That's really smart by you. And again, I mean, the way recruiting's just boomed, especially in the, in the age of social media, I mean, you have a, a niche and a, and a lane right there. So, Hayes, when when you're taking these photos like and and you're manipulating these photos, uh, do you just sit down and just go straight to it, or do you have something in mind? Do you just do you brainstorm for a while? Kind of what's your what's your process when you're putting together one for a, a five star recruit? Like I I usually just do what comes to me. I, I would say I have a creative mind, so like I mean I try to not make every edit like exactly the same. So, like, the, for example, the other day, I did uh, Caleb Williams. He was the number one quarterback. Yeah, the one in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah, so with his, I thought it, I had some really cool pictures that were taken by uh, Oklahoma that he sent me. And uh, it goes by, like, his name, his nickname, Superman. So, like, I put a little Superman logo on there. And then he sent me a picture of him holding the Heisman Trophy. So I decided uh, I should put, like, Baker Mayfield and Kyler Murray in there, too, because they're the past quarterbacks at Oklahoma who won the Heisman and just just different things like that kind of like to portray the school that you're going to you know what I mean yeah it's it's again man it's uh, if you look at them and and where can everybody find you on Twitter just and and Instagram so they can see some of these my Instagram is recruit 247 and my Instagram is Hayes Fawcett 3 uh your your Twitter's Hayes Fawcett 3 yeah. Okay, I got you. So, so Instagram is recruit two four seven. Twitter is Hayes Fawcett three. I definitely recommend that you guys go check the check these out. So, so Hayes, is this something that you know you've kind of turned into a career? I know you're not an old guy. Is is this something that that you can see yourself, you know, doing, you know, full time and being able to do pretty well with it? For sure. Yeah, it's something I've I've been doing it for a while, and it's something I really grown to love so like like what people say we do what you love you don't work a day in your life and this is what i love so i want to uh, pursue this career in the future 
Definitely, man. Well, uh, Hayes, I really appreciate you coming on. It's uh, everybody, like I said, you need to go check it out. It's on Instagram, it's at recruit247. Uh, on Twitter, it's at Hayes Fawcett3. Uh, like you said, he's he's done done work for Leonard Fournette, Chase Young, just everybody you can imagine. Hayes, thanks for taking some time, man. And, and uh, uh, I know you're connected in the recruiting game too, but before we go, uh, how do you kind of feel about some of these top recruits in, in this class, the the small Mundins, the the Nylon Greens? Do you have kind of a, a read on where they're going? Uh, a little bit, but, like, just kind of based off some things that they told me, I like to keep some of that confidential, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, you have to, especially in your line of work and in this line of work, mine as well. You know, it's it's you you want to say something, you want to let everybody know, but you can't because, again, it's, it's about the player and, and they've earned the right. That's kind of a sacred blood oath between the, the people that know. But, uh, but Hayes, we're, we're going to get you back on, man. Um, again, everybody go check him out, and uh, we'll talk soon, buddy. Appreciate that. Thanks for having me again. All right, Hayes. I appreciate you joining us. Uh, a huge week. Uh, as we told you guys, got another huge week planned next week. Uh, also, uh, get ready for our website, the, uh, J- the jboyshow.com. It's coming out. It's got everything. Uh, I know you guys are going to go there. You've been unbelievably supportive. We're going to keep having big time recruits on. Got another one we're going to announce next week that you guys are definitely going to want to listen to. Remember, check us for all recruiting updates, predictions, 27 to 28. Uh, you know, we're bordering on 98%, so we're feeling pretty good about it. Again, you guys make it happen. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at The J Boy Show. On YouTube, it's The J Boy Show. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, again, thank you guys so much, and, and we're going to keep doing it. Shout out, obviously, to the Investor Brand Network, the best PR company in the business. Shout out to Faison as well, my own personal Merlin in the studio. You've been watching The J Boy Show and listening to The J Boy Show. J Boys going, going, gone.